In this video segment for creating pop-out decals, we'll learn how to set up the software. Now a couple things we're going to be covering in this video is one, how to create a path for cutting through the media. How do you tell Cutting Master 2 that this is the path for digging in deep enough to cut completely through? The second thing we'll learn is preparing a job for printing. What do we need to turn off and turn on? third thing we're going to learn is preparing the job to cut and this will be using Cutting Master 2 where we can assign a layer or each layer to a cutting condition. Now what you'll need is one like in the previous video how we set up the plotter and I set up condition one for cutting through the vinyl layer or the top layer and that force value was about 16. Now condition two was set up for cutting completely through the backing and remember the force value there was 38 and I also enabled the perfline feature to assign it to condition two so that it would cut through but leaving little tag marks. And then these values I've written down and I'll use them during this setup or this demonstration. Now with cutting conditions, cutting condition one is set up to cut the vinyl layer so that the blade just cuts through the top and not the backing. And then condition two was set up so that it would cut completely through the backing leaving minute tags to hold the media in place so that it doesn't fall out that can cause skewing. Here we have a perfect example or a logo that I want to go ahead and cut out, but I want two lines. I want one line to cut through the material, the top layer, using condition one as we discussed, and then I want a secondary line to cut the backing so that I can pop out this logo to hand out. And the final result be, will be a decal that you can have an inner cut that you can pull out the Porsche logo and place it where you want. Now the first thing I need to do is I want to show you the cut line that I've already created because what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a cut through line based upon this and the way I do that is I click on this line or this object and go to object path and then offset path. In this case I want to make it a quarter of an inch out so I go ahead and click in or type in .25. There it is. The other thing I want to do is I still have to include my GraphTech logo, so I have to create a line for that. The easiest way for me to do this is to use a rectangle with rounded corners. So I'm going to go ahead and draw that around the GraphTech logo. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and weld it to this current line that I just created. I do this by clicking on Pathfinder, Weld, and then Expand. And there I've got it. Now I also want to assign this to well, let me put it this way. I want to put a red line to this so that I can visually see the difference. This is just something I do. If you don't want to do it, you don't have to. But So I'm going to click and make the line red. So if I turn, click off the object, turn off the print, you can see I have a red line and a black line. The black line to me represents cutting through the vinyl. The red line represents cutting completely through the backing, so that's what's going to be popped out. You can almost see what's going to happen here. So I'm going to hand out these decals where an inner decal they can pull out to place. And this is, you can get real creative with these type of uh, workflows and uh, these type of decals so that you can be creative and offer your customers a lot more. So now that I've got my print cut, I also need to create another layer because I need to tell Cutting Master 2 when I cut this that I have two layers to cut. So I'll cut the, call this Cut Through. And then I want to go ahead and take this Cut Through line and assign it to the cut through. So I click on the cut through layer, right click on the object, go down to arrange and then send to current layer. Now I've got three clean layers that I can use. And I like using layers because it keeps things uh, separated and, and easy to edit, especially if you have holes that you don't want, as I mentioned in my earlier videos. So there I have it. I'm ready to go except I need my registration marks. So I can just go to file and easily click on Cutting Master 2 registration marks. And I set my values to a thinner line and a smaller registration mark since this is a small little decal that I'm cutting. Click OK and there's my registration marks. And it's also created a registration mark layer. Now the only thing I really want to send to the printer is the print layer with the, with the decal and the GraphTech logo and the registration marks. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the cut through and the cut layers and then send that to my printer and I'm all ready to go. Once my print is completed and placed in the cutter, I want to go ahead and uh, load it in a way that it's aligned properly or straight. 
I do this because I need to make sure it's straight as possible. This is especially true with longer jobs. So what I do is I put my fingers on the registration marks and feel underneath for the Teflon mat or some corner where both of them can make it straight. I go ahead and latch the material and in every case when I'm doing a sheet I press roll one and then press enter. Now that my job is printed and placed in the cutter ready to be cut, I can use Cutting Master 2 to cut the job. But before I do that, I need to turn on both my cut layer and my cut through layer, since only then will Cutting Master 2 recognize them. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place cut, the cut layer, above the cut through. And the reason I do this is because Cutting Master 2 takes the order of the layers as to which layer it's going to cut first. So I, since I want the cut layer to cut first and then the cut through, I place it in this order so Cutting Master 2 will cut the right thing in the right place. Now I'm all ready to go through to my Cutting Master 2 to send the job. So I go to Cutting Master 2 under the File menu, go to Cut Plot. Now when my dialog box shows up, I'll go to the Layering page. And here I'm going to be cut by layer. and I've turned on the cut and cut through, but I've turned off the print. One thing I want to note, you to notice though is down here where it says enable driver options, here's where you can set up different presets that can control the cutter. So you can set up the force or the condition that you want to use for each particular layer. So for instance, earlier what I did is I set up two different layers or two different presets. I set up the cut through that has the force of 38. That was the perfect force to cut through the material in my earlier testing and I've assigned it to condition 2 that has perf line settings so it leaves little tag marks so that the media doesn't fall out and of course I set the speed to 40 and the quality to 2. The other preset I set up was the cut preset. Now here I set it to 16, the speed of 50 and the quality of 4 and also the condition to 1 and I did this because this is going to be the preset for, to use for cutting just through the top layer or the vinyl layer. So with my cut layer up here, I set the setting to cut. And with my cut through, I'm going to assign that to cut through. Now what's going to happen when I send this job down, it's going to send everything that's in the cut layer. But what it's going to do first is going to tell the plotter to set the conditions to the force of 16 and, and, the, and the condition to 1. And then once it completes all those objects, or the one object, it's going to go ahead and send the cut through data. But before it does that, it'll tell the plotter to change it to condition 2 that has the setting for perf line and then set the force to 38. That way everything is done automatically. You do not have to do a thing after that. So now that I've got all my settings and my layers in, intact or ready to go, I, all I have to do is click on send. That will send the job into a queue that will hold it until I'm ready to send it. Once the media is loaded and the job is sent, it's going to find the registration marks. So once it finds the four registration marks, the cutter will actually orient itself to where the contour should be. Now it's found the fourth registration mark. It sets the cutter to the condition one that cuts through the top layer. That's just the decal with the Porsche logo. Next, it'll switch it to condition two where the force is higher and the perf line is turned on so it's able to cut a line all the way through. And what the results will be is where you can just easily pop out the decal itself. And remember we had an inner line that just cut through the vinyls so that I can easily just pull out the Porsche logo and place where I want. And there we have it, a finished product. Thank you for watching. For more information, please contact us today.